everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to show you. First of all, I've got a well, I've got four magazines. These are current magazines, UK magazines that are on sale at the moment. Sorry about the light. We've got a really, really bright day at the moment and it's just started to come across my desk. So hopefully you'll be able to see it all really well. So this is issue, it's the March issue, 206 of Card Making and Papercraft. This is the free gift that you get. So it's a Gemini by Crafters Companion die set. You've got this really lovely big balloon and then you've got all these sentiments that will work within the balloon. You've got wishing you the best birthday ever, make a and then you've got make a oh make a wish there we go in the die and then you've got hooray as well so you've got hip hip hooray so you can have stamps and the dies to make the sentence and then you've got celebrate happy birthday that's a really nice font and you can just see a card there which is really nice it's almost got this kind of they've kind of done like an acetate section there so it's a bit like an aperture and then they put the balloon over it and so you can see when it's closed, there's celebrate inside the card there. It's really nice. I'm definitely going to have a play around with just how large that balloon is. It's a really nice size and like I said, I like the font and the arch there and everything. I just think that's a really nice free gift. So inside this one here, I won't go through every single page. As always, I always do like to say that I get, I get given these magazines because I've featured in them. But lots of you have said how you like to see them because you get to see, you know, if you want to buy it really, because I know I do, I, I buy <laughs> craft magazines because of the free gift. So um, I think that's a really nice free gift. So um, yeah, it's just, I like to share them. But I won't go through all the contents because I don't like to ruin it for others that subscribe and enjoy these magazines as well. But in this one here, I done a feature on the Tricorn Fold card. And I'll just give you a quick little look here. It's a beautiful spread. And there we have it there. So these are the cards that I've created. Time to celebrate. And it's this design here, which I designed a while ago now on my tutorial, on my tutorial, on my channel, and I love it. It's so nice. And I got to use this gorgeous collection by Pebbles, which I still have a lot left over actually. So I'm going to feature that in some videos up and coming tutorials and uh, yeah so then there's four pages after which I show you exactly how to do these these are all different sizes as well so there's a nice mix and it's just really really fun to do so yeah that's the um, issue 206 of card making and paper craft gorgeous here as well in fact let me I'm not going to show you like I said I don't want to show you them all but it is look at these they are so so nice really really nice I'm going to have to have a little good old read of these because I'd like I wouldn't mind seeing what stamp sets that is so anyway that's the card making and paper craft then we've got issue 61 of die cutting essentials and this one you get a tonic die this one says sending love it's a pretty pocket die set I haven't opened it yet so how do we get in this it's like a pocket itself oh, okay so it's all one big piece let's just take the back off here okay all right, I got it. Oh, it's actually quite a nice size. For some reason, I was expecting it to almost be that size there, but that's that's quite a good size. So you can... Oh, okay, it's actually got quite a few parts to it. So you can have it cut into the card. You can have it as a single piece. So there's the whole frame. You can have it popping out the top of a card. So you can cut the top so it, it literally pops out. I've done that kind of partial die cutting before. That's what that will create. So these, oh, I mean, you know it's secure, but my gosh, right, there you go. And then that also would just cut out the detail. So you can do a lot of layering to this. So it is a good size. Let me just grab my ruler, just so you can see there. If I do this one, because that's just a little bit bigger, but it gives you an idea. You're looking, well, that's three and a quarter. So with that there, it's probably about three and a half by, mm, do that, try and get to the highest point. Again, I'd say by about three to three and a quarter. So um, I'll get rid of that and I'll pop it all back in the uh, pocket here. Reduced size, says it all there anyway. Compatible with most lending die machines, leading die machines. Um, lending, I don't even know why I said that. But yeah, that's um, again, that's very sweet. Sending love. And it's just got the two butterflies on there as well. But as always, there'll be lots of inspiration inside the magazines on how to use your free gift. And you can see on the front here, how it can pop out the top of the card. So there's the your top folding card, there's the fold, but this piece pokes out the top. And then they've, someone's made a shaker there, which is a nice addition. And then you've got the butterflies being used there as well. That's quite different how they've done that. And again, my feature here was using um, 
a set of dies that I got sent to create some stained glass window looking cards. Again, I make these, we, we do them so far in advance, so this was done before Christmas. Um, so you kind of forget sometimes when it pops through your door, I'm kind of thinking, so what did I feature in this one? <laughs> Um, but it's so nice to then go back and it's always great to see your cards in print, you know, professionally photographed and these are the ones that I made. It's a really nice set of um, dies and stuff that I used. Again, I won't give all that detail away because a lot of you, you know, look forward to receiving these magazines. But I love this one here, this gorgeous rainbow. Really, really fun. But all of this is on vellum and different things. So when you, it was quite hard to photograph actually, but you can kind of just see here all this kind of, glass effect um, all in the bubbles here all of this when it catches the light it does look really, really nice um, so that's that one there again this one's a bumper one I mean it's really thick on the side there so you do get a lot you know there's tons of inspiration there so I do always enjoy reading my magazines so that is like I said issue 61 of die cutting essentials then we have issue 184 of papercraft essentials so, th so this freebie here they always do these great bumper kind of kits and this one you can make it's called fresh florals quick cards your love um, inside your kit are 12 pattern papers 22 die cut and foiled sentiments and 23 toppers five card blanks and twine and they always give you a lot so oh look silver which is my favorite I just love silver um, on any kind of freebies. I'm not drawn to gold. You don't really see me using a lot of gold mirror card. It's usually holographic or silver. They're kind of my, my go-tos. I just think silver goes with everything so nicely, but aren't those gorgeous? And they're really nicely made. So you've got to have the most wonderful birthday. That one's really nice. Life is so much better with you in it. Um, to a very special mum, celebrate your day. Wishing you a lovely day. Happy Mother's Day, because these are great. They're all coming up. We've got to my Valentine. I know that's just passed for us, but, you know, these things, a lot of these kind of things I pop out and I just put into, like, a big... Well, it's not big. I've got a plastic kind of um, tub with just all, you know, sentiments in so I can go to it quite quickly. Birthday wishes. Everyone needs a friend like you. That's nice. From the heart. Friends, other family, you choose yourself. So that's a nice A5 sheet there. And then these are your card blanks. And then you've got all these, and it is, it says fresh florals, they're beautiful. Again, all ready to just pop out there, the card, and for you to just make your, and it is quick cards. So if you're somebody that likes to have your, you know, images and stuff already die cut for you, you've got some really nice ones here. So you've got two, two of those ones, and then these are your patterned papers. And again, it's a nice, it's a, you know, a thicker paper, I'd say it's maybe... It's not quite 160, I don't know, maybe 120, does it say on here? Maybe it will say on the back. No, it doesn't. It's a nice, perfect for your mats and your layers. It's a nice weight. So we've got that one. We've got these here, which has got this kind of rose, rose printed floral. And then we've got this one here in the red. And we've got this, I like that one there. The turquoise kind of stripes with the floral on top. And again, that's a nice one as well. That looks lovely with the stripes. That'd be really nice, make some lovely cards. So you've got two of every print, because that's the other one for that one there. Pop that one at the back. So there are your prints. So you've got some lovely designs there. So yeah, I think that's, a, again, a nice free gift. And I know um, lots of people like to send friend mail and things like this, you know, you get and you send that as a gift on its own because that's a really lovely thing to receive. You know, it's not too heavy. It's not too bulky. And um, yeah, no, I like that one a lot. That's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to pop all this back in here. And you get a nice amount of twine there as well. So again, it will obviously tell you where they've used that in all the inspiration, which no doubt is there is loads of it in this magazine. So on the front, that's a nice card. I like that um, design that's using all of your freebie items there. And then see what other ones they've got, just to give you, again, some more ideas with what you can do with that. Oh, I'll get to that in a moment, because here's my one. So I've done these ones here, Fancy Fold. So I was asked to do some concertina cards. So I've done these two. I always do a easy and then a more intermediate you know advanced version and that's the one that you always get your step by steps but let me just see because i want to see what other cards they've done with the free gift here we go oh, so mel jess has done some 
off the page design so you know gift boxes gift bags she's decorated a bag there again with the papers but where's the cards because I did flick through briefly here we go so the lovely Nikki, I always have said it before, I always love Nikki's cards. So she's done this box kind of style again. She gives you all the instructions on how to do it. These are nice as well with these kind of, all the layering. And then she's done an easel. Oh, so she done the cover card there as well, which is really nice. So there's some, and there'll be more as well throughout the magazine. So that is the issue 184 of Papercraft Essentials. And then lastly, I've got, this is another die cutting essential. So actually, what's the most recent one? Because I've got these all sent through to... Yeah, so this one is a little bit older. This is the new one because I've seen people sharing card designs. So this is issue 62 and that was 61. But again, they should both be available with the, you know all the links that I've shared below and stuff. So this here, I, I love Bright Rosa and um, I've got quite a few of her dies. And this one here, the free gift is this plate with the frame and then you get this banner like more border detail you can see what it creates here the shapes that you get there's very much a bright rosa um you know design there that real geometric style and it's called the geo panel die set and you've got with and love there just in a box to be able to create extras and on the back there's some more there because i'm sure there's a free Designed exclusively to coordinate with Simply, ah, yeah, on the Simply cards and paper craft, they have the fern die and stamps. That's why I've seen a lot of this around at the moment on like social media. So yeah, if you pick up the Simply cards and paper craft, I don't have that one, but you'll get these fern um, dies. So, and I've got them in the main collection. Mine are, I wouldn't imagine they'd be as big because I'm just looking at that plate. I've got that plate, but in the main collection it's bigger. But these are nice for those smaller cards. And if you've never used the Bright Rosa product before, it's quite nice to kind of, you know, just use it and see if it's something that you like. But you can see the inspiration here on the front. And again, they show you exactly how to use your free gift. And then I can't remember what the feature was in this. Again, terrible. Um, oh yeah, now I do. So I done a selection of stepper cards. This is a really nice feature and um, you can see I've done side stepper, I've done the box step, I've done centre step, I've done double stepper and then I've done, that was just a concertina one and these pieces are kind of stuck separately but again everything is explained to you step by step. I've done some pictures there as well but I just loved using um, these colours and yeah it was just really pretty and it was butterflies as well so apologies for the, um, the sun that's gone right across there but you should be able to pick that up still quite easily. So yeah so that was that one so again issue 62. Okay so that's all the magazines then I was just having a little look on Amazon and it always gives you kind of like recommended stuff and because I've purchased these a while ago now and I use these all the time and these are my blending brushes they're just makeup brushes but they are great for blending with your inks and stuff and I know pretty much what ones are what here this is what I use with my red or pinks I've got yellow I've got ones here that I use for navies and blues this is like one I use for browns um, I do keep meaning to just put some nail polish on the tops there but I've I've worked well with them anyway but then I saw these and I just thought oh they're so pretty and they're exactly the same exactly the same so you can see the designs there and the size and everything but these are all that size which is quite handy actually because that is probably that yeah, I think I go to these these smaller ones quite a lot actually. These are great when you're doing a large area, but I do like the slightly smaller ones. But it was the colours, I just thought I need them. They're rainbows and they're pretty and they're just going to look really nice in my craft room. So they only do the orange, these colours here that I've seen so far. However, you know, hopefully they will maybe add some more colours because it'd be really nice to have a red. It'd be really nice to have a pink because this is obviously a purple um, colour. But I loved them and they were... I think £10, so it's about £2 each, which is more than I paid. I got, I think I paid something like £5 or something for these. Um, I'll share all the links below because they're from Amazon and I, you know, I love them. But the size of this one here is, I mean, I don't know how they describe it. I mean, it's four centimetres, which is one, you know, one and a half inches. And it is in height. These are six inches, 15 centimetres around that. So... But yeah, just really, really pretty. So <laughs> you'll be seeing those ones. I'm just going to shove them in there for now because I haven't done anything with them yet until I've done this video. So, but um, yeah, there's my blending brushes. <laughs> okay, and then I know I said last week that I'd done all my Easter shopping. 
Well, I don't know, did I really actually say I'd done all my Easter shopping in terms of craft stuff? Well, I went into uh, Hobbycraft and next door to Hobbycraft is Poundland and they literally were just putting out all their Easter stuff. So Hobbycraft, obviously you can imagine it's all craft related. So I have gone and brought a few things, but it's stuff that if I don't use it all this Easter, I know I'm going to use it, you know, in future Easter's. <laughs> so... I'm going to go through it all the first and I think a lot of you are going to absolutely love these because well I think they're amazing and that's these here some of you are probably thinking really but these are little picket fences now you know I love to make my little kind of houses and um, little storage kind of just whimsical little kind of cute things I like to make them and I've already started doing some more and I've just had some wonderful ideas to do some nice Easter decor as well as doing like gift boxes and things like that and I saw these and I thought I need to own them so <laughs> I picked up two in the white because I thought you can just dress them and you can change the colors if you want to two pound each I'm going to say I haven't got the receipt anymore but I'm pretty sure these were two pound each and then I've got yellow purple and pink and you get a lot let me take one out here so you can see just how much you get so if you've made like the she shed or the bird box and things like that and like at Christmas time when I made that huge Christmas village you can finish it all off with you know this gorgeous fencing and it's all wired if you've got some strong plies you can cut it which I will have to do with some but if you're doing something you know bigger you could wrap it right the way round and then have an opening at the front I mean oh I just think they're brilliant so yeah that's what excites me in life <laughs> and I'm sure it does for others as well anyway us crafters but yeah I thought they were just really really good so the yellow ones um well all of them you're going to see feature you know along the way but I'm hoping that's why I got the white um well they probably wouldn't bring them out nearer to Christmas time but more into like winter projects this is where I can probably you know distress this a bit more but it'd be nice I imagine they're going to take well and you can put glitters on them all kinds of things but I just thought they're great so for two pound again I thought I saw them before I saw the price and then I kind of thought I bet they're going to be like four pound each or something because you do you get a lot in there and they're really nicely made you can see all the wire you know throughout but yeah two pound each I thought that was pretty good just taking the plastic off there just so you can see it better but then I picked up some of these five by seven you get 40 assorted cards but the reason I've got these is because of the colors so I do usually make a lot of my card bases little blanks sorry I'm just trying there you go you can see she got a real nice pastel pink pastel green pastel yellow and pastel purple oh and pastel ooh, blue right at the end there okay and then you get all the matching envelopes as well so um I want to say five pound six pound something like that but I go through them a lot and obviously I do a lot of commissions and magazine things and stuff like that so you know these things I go through very quickly um but they're going to go nice with a lot of that card stock that I shared a few weeks ago so yeah I'll pop all that away again better in a minute okay and then a few other things I got in hobby craft I just picked up these they're not you know they are they're not the best of ribbons but um they're okay I think they are getting better with their ribbons that they bring in let me just sometimes they can be quite I don't know that just it does feel a bit bit nicer than some I've had a really quite thin and you pull them when you go to tie a bow and they all pull all of like the um you know the the actual weave whereas this isn't I'm pulling it and it's not you know pulling anything out of place so they are getting better and they're only a pound each and you get 15 meters but again I just got some real nice bright colors for Easter and just going into the spring then I picked up these two here um you get 24 meters and two of them again the colors are just really nice gorgeous pink let me just take them out and I'm going to again using these things for decorating but also for the shadow boxes and um, see there just pulled it all out it's really quite stretchy as well but it's just another nice different kind of material to use you can use it on your cards you can tie bows with it you use it as your decor you can stretch it you can tie it you can do all sorts with it so you get absolutely tons and tons and tons it says 24 meters but I'm sure there's even more because it's so tightly packed like it's a, a roll of toilet paper so I got those again they're really cute and they're, they're wooden so they're really nicely made but look, look at their little faces. 
adorable and I said this with the trim craft wooden sentiment um, sentiments embellishments they're great for making into like little brooches it's very easy to put a little pin on the back of that or you know your little um brooch pins and um you could even maybe even make them into some earrings as well but I just think that's super cute so you can turn this into a really lovely little gift I would actually like that on a necklace that's very much my kind of style see you guys always see my big rings but you don't see my big earrings or big necklaces that I wear as well so <laughs> but uh yeah I thought they were really sweet and then I also got these here which are hanging egg decorations I think they're fantastic for decorations but I also think they look really retro and I think they're going to look great again built up in these shadow boxes um, and just you know for gift bags you know you can have them hanging from a gift bag with a you could put a tag on there you know someone's initial or something on the front but I just think the mirror effect on them is so good and again they're really nicely made they're finished well um, I just love them I almost want to get another pack so I can use one pack for crafting and one for decorations because again, if you have your Easter kind of twig trees, things like this will look lovely hanging from them. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Again, very inexpensive. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. And again, you're gonna think I'm nuts. I know, but I just couldn't help myself. So <laughs> I'm gonna mix this all in. But again, with decor, home decor, the things you can do with this looks lovely. I've got quite a few now, different styles of these mini eggs. Now, if you mix them all up, put them into a nice big glass, kind of like cookie jar or something, and have it in your kitchen, it's a lovely Easter just decoration on its own like that. So I do like to use things, you know, outside of the craft room for decorations. So, and I try and show as much, as, that stu as, as much of that stuff as possible. But again, these are just nice to have to put onto gift boxes, gift tags, um, 3D projects and things like that. So I've picked up these ones here, which are just paint styrofoam because you can just about see some of the actual kind of um, polystyrene um, look to them but those are like a matte finish but I just love the vibrant colours then it's the same here and these have got glitter over the top so again just really like them and I've got some other glitter ones but they're in more pastel lighter colours then I picked up these ones because the ones I've got are glitter and these are similar to the ones I got last year and they're, they're more of like a felt kind of finish to them so I've got them these here, they're bunny steaks, but and I haven't opened them, but I'm actually going to take, I probably won't use this, so I'm hoping I can just, yeah, pull it out. Um, I want them just on their own because I thought they looked quite retro again. So um, I can now, you know, stick that onto other things and um, yeah, it just gives you the option, but you can obviously keep them, you know, they'd look good in little planters around your house. So I've done that. I do that at Christmas time. Christmas things you know you could build this up you could put some green grass underneath it layer them up add more to it and then you know pop them in your planters around the house just to, again to add like an Easter decoration but they're cute they are they're really really cute so purple pink green orange yellow and blue I just started singing the rainbow song then um, I picked up these coasters which I thought were quite nice and again I can see them on cards you can use them as a you know the start of like your background and then kind of layer up on top again lovely for home decor but I'm probably going to be featuring these in more DIY decor pieces that I plan to do so I've got the you get four and they're felt so they're quite thick but in the yellow and in the blue those are the only colors I saw I quite liked it if they'd had a pink as well but those are okay for now these ones here just some more eggs they call these ones tree decks you get a pack of 12 they're plastic but again glittery a little bit bigger than the other ones um, and slightly different colors and then I kind of obsessed over these ones a little bit and they are glittery toadstools <laughs> um, I just absolutely fell in love with these no they're not too badly made um, and I just again oh I just love them I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff but it is cheap and it will get used and it get used in a really fun and unique way um, but look at that isn't it lovely how excited can you get over a toadstool <laughs> very if you're in my my world so yeah I just thought they were great and it's funny actually because I saw these and I was getting all excited and my mum was behind me she went have you found the toadstools and I was like yeah she went I knew you'd like those so she'd already seen them but you get three for a pound so I picked up two bags there um, no doubt I'll want more and no doubt you'll never see these again because that usually is the case as well and um, 
you know, I pick them up and then they're probably already gone because there was a lot of people around there. I think she, the girl had literally just filled up the shelves and um, this stuff was just, people were just grabbing it all. So I'm kind of glad I, um, I managed to get the hold of this stuff. And I also picked up these here, which are slightly different to the usual ones I go for. Usually I just get the traditional looking little chicks, you know, the fluffy ones, but their eyes are always a little bit odd. One eye's like down on their foot, you know, and they just don't look right. Whereas I thought these ones actually look quite cute. And they did have a name on the receipt, I'm sure when I read it, or maybe it was on the thing in the actual shop. But they're little kind of like, I don't know what, even know what they're made out of. Let me just see if I can get these off. So they're just clipped in. But they're like little, they've got little um, wings there as well. But they're just little fluffy ones, but they just looked a little bit nicer. You just move them around a bit than the others. I thought they were quite cute. So I picked up them. i put their feet back in there. I don't know how that's done, but anyway. And then these ones here are, f are like felt. But again, I actually thought they looked quite nice. They've been, they actually been, you know, nicely put together. Because sometimes, although they've used, they've actually glued them onto there, which is a bit of a pain. So I'm gonna have to try and take that hot glue. Oh, there it goes. It does pull off. But I, again, I thought it was actually quite sweet. <laughs> it just seemed to be nice, nicer made, better made than the other ones that were there. And you can't really see the glue. You know, sometimes you see big blobs of hot glue like oozing out but I actually thought they were quite sweet so I now promise that that is it I won't be getting any more Easter stuff um you know slap my wrist if I do but I don't need any more if anything it's papers that's what I'm now on the hunt for so usually Trimcraft are pretty good and they will do a free downloadable Easter paper nearer the time obviously I like to make my stuff in advance so um, if anybody knows of any really good free downloadable papers um, or have seen any nice papers in the stores in the range obviously I'm in the UK so it needs to be something that I can get in that in that sense but yeah the range if anybody's been in there recently and seen any nice Easter papers um, I've got lots of gingham so that's always good that's kind of like my background kind of patterns that I like to use but if there's any nice because last year I had the Hell's Couple Ditch she done a magazine summertime I think it was called or something so I used some of her papers and things for projects but I want some nice 12 by 12s this time so yeah if anybody has any lovely ones that they've seen um, please just pop it in the just you know in the comments and I will read those later on but I think oh that was it let me just pop this away okay so what I've got is some sweet treats so I've got the kinder mini eggs I've got I'm going to talk about them in a minute and I've got these Kit Kat but they're little bunnies but sometimes you don't know whether they're individually packed inside the packaging because that's what I want I want these little individual ones so then I can kind of you know split it up I haven't eaten any see it says six and there's six here um but now you can have you know three and three and you can do a nice little paper craft project to hold those um so I start to get them now and I thought I would share with you the ones that I've got because I know a lot of you when you see the projects I've made you like to get the exact chocolates as well and I try to get things that are readily available in all our big supermarkets in the UK and this is from the pound shop so yeah it was the pound shop so those there yeah I've got the six for a pound so again you split that will be a nice little gift and then these I liked again because they're all individual and these are the kinder mini eggs and then I thought these would be individual and these are the galaxy enchanted eggs but they're not I thought they were going to be wrapped but they are just coated in like a rose gold and they're not actually very nice I'm a massive galaxy fan but I didn't think they tasted at all like galaxy so um, yeah, so those would be eaten by somebody else, but definitely these ones here. I may well just keep them in the packaging. Well, actually, I probably won't. So I haven't opened them yet, but um, I'll probably split them. And um, yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got lots of sketches done for what I want to do this Easter and lots of ideas. So um, I can start to, uh, you know, make some nice little gifty things with these inside. And um, I always like to do a larger Easter egg project as well. So so that's everything this week and uh, yeah I'll share all the links as always in the description box below hopefully yeah I think I can link I'll be able to link the hobby craft craft stuff and I'll be able to link the blending brushes and the magazines but the stuff from the pound shop I can't link because they don't have online stores so. and uh, yeah look out for the tutorials and I'll be back very soon with a normal tutorial so I'll see you again soon bye